Okay, for this, I want to just run through the actual geometry creation tools um, in the toolbar here. Um, we've seen uh, already how to create a container, so let's just create one. Let's give it um, a name, and I will uh, just give it Mediterranean. All right we have a container. Now with that highlighted I can pick these tools <clears throat> and go into draw mode and add geometry to what is otherwise now a, a, a um, an empty geometry container. Notice as I hover over it the, the tooltip says Mediterranean type equals geometry and the, the number of features it contains, actually it tells us in that tooltip, is zero. If I pick the line tool, for example, the way I enter a line in, of geometry is simply click, drag, and let go. Now the tool is still in line drawing mode, and anywhere I click in this image will add geometry to my geometry container that I'm working on. Okay. If I hover over it now, we notice the features listed, the feature count has uh, increased to one. So if I were to also click and drag down here, this line, pro, you know, profile line and this profile line are all part of the same geometry that may or may not be useful. If I go into the selection tool, um, I can double click on this and you'll see the handles appear at each end which I can grab and drag and reshape a given geometry. I can go over here and double click this one do the same. I can click there is a <clears throat> highlighted box uh, dashed box around the extent of the geometry and within that I can click and drag the entire geometric object um, or or again, I can grab one of these handles and reshape it. Okay, With it selected like this, I can go to the Edit menu and Delete. And I will have deleted that geometric object from the Mediterranean container here. If I hover over it, the feature count has gone back down to 1. And it represents this geometry object down below. Now. <clears throat> the danger is that if you want uh, to use this profile, for example, to extract data values, you don't really want your geometry container that you're going to use to contain a bunch of stray clicks and hits. So it's real important that when you create a new geometry container and add geometry to it, that you quickly remember to get out of the line drawing tool or the whatever geometry drawing tool you're working on. So that now this one has one feature, the Adriatic, if I hover over that, has one feature. And I can work with those independently. We'll see how to do profiling shortly. Um, I want to, however, in this uh, tutorial, simply complete some of these drawing tools and how they work. The uh, rectangle drawing tool, as you might expect, you click and drag and draw out a rectangle. The ellipse tool, you click and drag and the extent of the ellipse is what you are controlling. Unfortunately, there isn't uh, as many drawing programs independent of uh, satellite data processing you know, where you hold the shift key and it restrains it to a circle, uh, the aspect ratio. There isn't really a way to do that. So if you want a, a really circular ellipse, <laughs> you have to just carefully uh, create it. Um, and then with the, um, I'm getting kind of uh, crowded here, but with the polygon tool, you simply click and drag, or excuse me, click and yes, and then drag and then, sorry, not drag, just click and click and click 
and double click and it finishes the polygon. So there's no click and hold. You simply click data points in, with the polygon tool. And when you get to your last point, double click and it does not need to be on top of the first point. Um, in fact, it probably it probably shouldn't be, but it need not be. Um, and then um, the polyline is simply a way to draw something like a line, but one that you do uh, click and click and double click, and now you have not a closed polygon, but you have uh, a line. Now if I go to the selection tool here with the arrow and click on that, you'll see the circles are the handles. I can actually adjust the shape of this polyline object. Okay, So they are editable after, the, after you've created them. But again, I've added a bunch of objects hovering over the Adriatic. I now have feet, five features in that. And the other thing we will do now is double click that. And what that brings up is a little um, description of those objects in this window here. And what they are are multi-line string, polygon, polygon, and so on. They are, it turns out, well-known text formatted descriptions of the geometry objects or so-called WKT. So this is a language you can uh, read about on the, the, the web, but it's used by GS, uh, GIS applications and various things for describing geometry in a sort of text file. Um, and generally, you're not manipulating that, um, but I just want to make you familiar with it. <clears throat> the last tool in this list, however, closing that, is one that asks you to input well-known text, uh, formatted text, to describe a geometry you want to add. So um, how do you do that? Well, one easy way is to uh, go to this Wicket site that I found online. It's just an online tool. If you uh, search for WKT and WIC, KET, you will get a um, interface here where they have just some example uh, data, but you can come in here and delete that text or clear the map, and you could go somewhere um, and draw some geometry, and it will in here put uh, some WKT text that you would then copy, go back to CDAS, pull up the WKT paste, and click OK, and there's the geometry I just drew on that page. So that's just a, <coughs> excuse me, solution to a problem of, uh, you know, how would I generate WKT uh, text um, if I didn't have any, but uh, some GIS applications might export a uh, geometry object as WKT and you could import it into CDS if your analysis uh, required it. So um, that's just a quick tour of the tools. Um, in the next uh, tutorial, I'll go into how you would uh, use, for example, profile lines to look at data. Um, it's important to understand when we get there that that um, uh, the profiling is really intended for the line tool. Um, so we'll we'll kind of focus on that um, going ahead. Um, these geometries, however, have each created a uh, uh, these containers have created a mask. Now that they have geometry in them. And that means that you can do band math uh, with the masks to uh, look at uh, specific data that's within um, that geometry and so on uh, for things like statistics or whatnot.
Well, uh, we'll save that for a separate video. Um, just understand the uh, importance of selecting your tool, drawing your geometry, and getting out of that tool. And understand that these, these objects, like the polygon and the polyline, you're, you're clicking out points and then double-clicking to finish drawing that geometry. Um, they're a little different from the others that are just a drag uh, operation. And we'll stop it there.